Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick Bow Wow video. And you know, Bow Wow is catching a lot of heat, a lot of smoke, a lot of backlash because he said he missed the Diddy parties. Listen, Diddy didn't just throw sinister um, parties. He threw regular parties. We heard many celebrities say themselves, I left before the after party. And Diddy parties, and I'm not talking about the FOs, I'm not talking about where people allegedly, you know, bad things happen to them. There was parties that he threw that were legendary and they were known in the industry and people loved attending those parties. So what Bow Wow pretty much said is that, you know what, um, he, I, I appreciate, you know, sometimes you say something is just not the right time, but I appreciate him not backing away from the conversation like many others have that are that were way closer to Diddy um, and acting as if they just didn't even know the man and they never was in his presence and they never liked him. And meantime, they was 10 toes down with him with a lot of stuff that he was doing. But Bow Wow said that, you know what, his party's a miss. And he said the BET Awards were the past weekend. And he said it wasn't party in sight. Now, I'm going to say the people are smart. Because you, you're running a big risk if you're throwing a party now because God only knows what somebody may say that perhaps happened to them at a party, especially in light of everything that Diddy is currently going through. So the safe thing to do would be to not have a party at all. So let's get into Bow Wow's words and, and what got him into a whole lot of trouble, um, got him a lot of backlash. Um, but... I understand what he was saying. I'll put it that way. I understand what he's saying. But I also understand how it's now a bad time because you will even hear the host and see the host saying that, oh, I left before there was an after party. I've never been to a Diddy party. Well, a whole lot of people been to them because there's hundreds of people suing him, right? Let's take a listen. Like for me thinking on it, bro, supposed to be on a 250 foot yacht with his wife leg up chilling this how you ride it out you know what i mean and i think a lot of us probably never thought that we would see this but for me it's like it's just it's just unreal like it's, it seems unreal at times i know me and jermaine we spoke about it and i'm just like i just can't i can't i couldn't i couldn't i would never thought that it would we would see him in this position ever even with all the rumors that i've always circulated never just never thought I'd see it like this. Like, nah, nah. He's like the gatekeeper to the game, to the point to where, what what weekend just passed? Like BT Award weekend, and then, and then like the past two, they just didn't feel right because there was no motion, there was no parties, there was nowhere to go. Like, let's be very like, specific between like, parties and freak offs. No, now. the industry, like the parties that we attend, like there's me, the you, the, the Terrence. No, I, I, I get what he's saying. And everybody just wants to distance themselves from like F.O. And they need to stop playing games and keep it real. There was some regular parties and then there was the F.O. parties. And I don't think even the people, I think some people that heard about the F.O. parties would never imagine in mind that the F.O. parties was at the level that they were at according to everything we're hearing about Diddy. So let's let's listen. The, I the, left before before <laughs> one. I never stayed. I've only like, been to two parties and like, I've never seen a freak off. Yeah, like, but it shows, and, and once again, I'm separating, right? I'm talking about him as the, the, the artist, mm -hmm. the, the person, yeah. right? How and how monumental and how important he was to the culture because I, I, I said, Jermaine, I just, there's no party every year. Dude had the, he had the, fed, and you feel it. It's like a hole. It's like, damn, we, we ain't going, he was just such a gatekeeper for him. The, the, the liquor in the, the clubs, the, the, the mo, like he was everything hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for that to, to die out, it's like, you just would have never thought. And especially when you look at somebody as like somebody you study, somebody you idolize, somebody who you looked at like, yo, when it comes to hustle, when it comes to business, and, and how to run your shit, it's like he was the guy that every young hustler looked up to and wanted to either be like or wanted to, man, I'm gonna pass this nigga. Like, I always wanna, I want, I wanna pass this nigga. Like, he just make me, 
you just step your hustle game up. You know what I mean? So it's 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 sad and it's messed up that you know we gotta. Mm -hmm. What is sad and messed up is that Diddy had the opportunity to be something great or something sinister, and he took the sinister role. And that's what I think is sad. And I think that is what Bow Wow is trying to say. Like, here you were, the gatekeeper on one face of you, like the gatekeeper of the hip hop industry, but you ran, you was a, you was a sinister gatekeeper who intimidate, intimidated allegedly, um, put your hands on people physically, allegedly, and put your hands on people um, in an essay way and ways they did not want and just did your artist dirty, allegedly, and so many other people. So it's like a fine line. He could have been in history something great and he turned out to be something horrible. So Bow Wow faces backlash for saying he misses Diddy parties following his arrest. Um, Bow Wow has a habit of, of bringing heat on himself, but his latest comments couldn't have come at the worst time. And I think that is what it is with Bow Wow. He should have just kept his mouth quiet because unfortunately he's in a, a culture and a time period where everybody is, um, can't, they have canceled Diddy and he is public enemy number one and they have labeled him as a monster. But I do understand what Bow Wow was trying to say. The 37-year-old rapper recently claimed that he missed Diddy parties and the internet did not approve of this submission given the controversial mogul's recent arrest and year-long um, legal ordeals related to alleged R, S, T, and more. Bro supposed to be on a 250 yacht with his wife, legs up, chilling. The light mic at the set on um, Rossi Diaz, more to the story podcast. It seems unreal at times. Me and Jermaine Dupree spoke about it. And I was like, I never thought we would see him in this position ever. He's like the gatekeeper to the game to the point where the BET Awards weekend, the past two, um, they didn't just, um, it, they just didn't feel right because there was no motion. There were no parties. There was nowhere to go. So Bow Wow to me, um, again, it was just not the right climate to say what he was saying, but I understand what he was saying because now the world is kind of on, the hip hop world is kind of on lockdown. Nobody wants to move left. Nobody wants to move right. Nobody wants to admit that at one time in their life, they admired Diddy. Um, he was the gatekeeper and they wanted a ticket to his party. Now everyone at body wanted to act like they knew all along he was a monster and they never had anything to do with him. Okay. The out of uh, my system artist clarified that he didn't mean the freak offs that um, were discussed by the federal government. I said, Jermaine, there's no parties, he added. You feel it, you feel it. It's like a hole. He he was everything hip hop for that to die out. You just would have never thought. It's sad and it's messed up that we got to witness this. And I get what he's saying. It's like, here we are. To me, when, you know, when uh, uh, people from my culture reach a pinnacle level to go from like, rise up from the ashes, so to speak, I like to say, from having nothing and to work your way up to that level. And then that level is torn down by your own hand because of greed and, and, and just being a monster. If everything that all of these um, lawsuits are accusing him of, he did, it's just sad. So again, y'all got to let me know your thoughts. Do you understand what Bow Wow was trying to say, but just probably said it at the wrong time in the wrong way where people just don't understand? Okay, so let me see what else he said. Um, that's telling us the same thing, all of those different um, clips there. Um, fending, for Biddy's, uh, um, fending for Diddy's parties is crazy, one user wrote on X, formerly Twitter. Dude should have just stayed quiet. Another user got personal with Bow Wow and shared an antidote. Get a load of this user. We booked him at a club and he couldn't even give his liquor away um, to the to the holes, they didn't want it. They wrote a Diddy party may actually be the best, um, the best, the best bet because I never seen a celebrity with so much inability to get bees. Another user kept their thoughts short and sweet. Send him back to the orphanage. 
Oh, people are so brutal. Bowell comments were poorly timed as Diddy is currently behind bars for racketeering, conspiracy, and as trafficking charges. This happened at an eventful year for the former revolt chairman, which started with his ex-girlfriend Cassie filing a lawsuit against him for R and trafficking in November 2023. The former couple ended up settling out of court for an undisclosed amount but this opened the floodgates for more women to come forward with their lawsuits, more women, more men, and allegedly more minors. I mean, some minors. Um, Thanes hit a new level when Homeland Security raided his Los Angeles and Miami home to March as part of a federal investigation. In May, footage surfaced of him assaulting Cassie in the Los Angeles hotel in 2016. He apologized for his conduct. Just five months, five months after claiming none of the allegations against him were true. And finally, in September, Puff was arrested in New York City and denied bail on multiple occasions. Um, listen, guys, are you throwing Bow Wow in the hole too? Am I crazy? I'm, I'm not excusing what he said. I'm saying I understand what he was trying to say. Um, sometimes you're trying to say something and the words don't just come out right or what you're trying to say just doesn't come across correctly especially if people already feel a certain way about you um but i want to say i understand what he was saying do you are you um rolling with the rest of the people and and throwing bow wow in the trash for what he is saying anyway guys chat with me in the comments and when i get an opportunity i will chat back if you're not a subscriber subscribe hit the notification bell so that every time i upload a video you will be notified if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.